Now it's time for the further adventures of Big John and Sparky. Today's chapter is entitled, Whose Little Boy Are You? Our good friend Yuki Butcher spent some time in the hospital. He had a bump on the head that caused a loss of memory. And then, much to everyone's surprise, Mrs. Saxpole, the very rich uh, widow whom... Uh, Yuki rescued from a fire at the Cheviot Hills Hotel, uh, came to get Yuki from the hospital, claiming that um, she was his mother. Uh, it's a surprise to us because we've discovered that Yuki is an orphan. Well, we're trying to figure out the mystery, the Yuki Butcher mystery. Come join Big John and Sparky. <laughs> Telephone's ringing. Telephone's ringing. Maybe it's some news about Yuki. I'll answer it, Big John. Okay, but if it isn't about Yuki, please make it short. Hello? Oh, hello, Maxie. Thanks for visiting, Big John. Oh, boy. Now, don't hang on that telephone all day. Here? Uh, what's new, Max? No, no, we still haven't heard anything at all from Yuki. No, nobody knows where he is. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, that's a possibility, Maxie. I'll discuss that matter with Big John and see what he thinks. Yeah, discuss the matter with me and see what I think. Anything, but please hang up that telephone so if anybody wants to call us about Yuki, they'll be able to get our line. Hey, uh, Big John, Maxie Fister wants to know if you think maybe Yuki was kidnapped from the hospital and that the lady who said she was his mother really wasn't his mother but a kidnapper instead. Oh, for goodness sakes. No, I don't think that's possible. Now, tell Maxie thanks for the suggestion and hang up, will you? Oh, uh, Max? Um... Uh, Big John says your question has merit, but he doesn't think it's very probable that that's what happened. Uh, however, Big John says good work on your brilliant uh, thinking and keep up the good work. And maybe I'd better hang up. Yeah, maybe you better hang up. Yeah, sure, Maxie. Oh, sure, every little bit will help you, bet. Well, uh, yeah, go ahead, round up all the guys and get out your detective disguise outfits and get your nose to the ground see if you can smell up a little trail there. Come on, Sparky. Yeah, bye, Maxie. Sure, I'll tell Big John. Uh, now? Oh, yeah. Uh, hey, Big John, Maxie and all the guys are going to form a posse to hunt for Yuki. Fine, wonderful, great, swell, glad to hear it. Now, please hang up, will you? Okay, 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 Big John. Uh, listen, Max, I gotta run. Yeah, I'll see you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so Huh? Yeah, okay, fine. Okay, well, I'll see you, Max. Uh, so Yeah, goodbye. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, goodbye. Uh, yeah, all right, Max. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> there, hang up, Big John. Yes, well, finally, boy, trying to get that kid to hang up on the phone is like nothing I've ever seen. So you don't think much of Maxie's idea that Yuki might have been kidnapped, huh? No, I don't. Hmm. Why would anyone want to kidnap Yuki? Well, to collect a ransom like all kidnappers do. Well, would you kindly tell me who the kidnapper would collect the ransom from? Huh? Uh, who would they collect the ransom from? Yeah, who? Yuki doesn't have any family. That's the reason we're so stumped about the fact that the woman who went to the hospital to take Yuki home said that she was his mother. We didn't even think he had one. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, who would they collect the ransom from? Could they collect it from Yuki? Collect what from Yuki? The ransom. Look, Sparky, a ransom is usually money. Now, what would Yuki use as a ransom? He hasn't got any money. I guess not. At least I guess he hasn't got enough money to use as a ransom. <laughs> if he did, he wouldn't be driving a taxi cab for a living. No, I hardly think so. <sighs> Who do you think that lady was who went to the hospital and took Yuki home with her? Well, I haven't got the faintest idea. There's another thing, too. We know that Yuki doesn't have a mother. Why did the lady who got him out of the hospital say that she was Yuki's mother? Well, I haven't the faintest idea on that one, either. Well, I wonder who she is. <laughs> I don't know. We're right back where we started. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Sure is a mystery, all right. Do you think we'll ever see Yuki again? I don't know. If he's been taken away from Cincinnati, then, and if he never gets his memory back, I doubt if we ever will. Do, do you think there's a chance that Yuki will ever get his memory back? I just don't know, Sparky. I suppose there's a chance, and if he does, he'll probably come back and we'll see him again. If he does, I just don't know. Well, boy, you... I don't understand you guys. You sure don't act very worried about Yuki. I don't act very worried about him. What do you expect me to do? Well, at least you can do is sit around and look worried. <laughs> well, I don't know what to do on that score. I'm wondering about Yuki. I'm trying to figure out where he could be. I'm concerned about it. What more could I be? I don't know. Guess this is just one great big mess, huh? 
Well, it's a baffling mystery, that's what it is. I don't understand why someone would want to go to a hospital and say they are the mother of someone they don't even know and take them home with them. I just can't figure that out. Hey, do you think maybe the lady who took Yuki home uh, might have been mistaken? Maybe she just thought she was Yuki's mother. Do you think that? Now, how could anyone possibly make a mistake like that? No, I don't think that's possible. You don't? No. Okay, then. Who was the lady that took Yuki home from the hospital? Well, that's the big question. I don't know. I wish it did. But I just don't. Uh-oh. Doorbell's ringing. Doorbell's ringing. Yeah, okay. Go see who it is, will you please? Yeah, I'm already on the way, thank you. I'm already on the way. And listen, if it's that kid selling a medicated staff, tell him I just don't want it anymore. I've got a whole cupboard full of it, and I can't help it if he is trying to win a pony or a or a moving picture machine or anything like that. Just tell him no more. Man, I got enough salve around here to take care of a major disaster or a war or something like that. I wonder who that lady was. Could Dr. Buku have been mistaken? I mean, maybe the lady came to the hospital said she was his aunt or sister or something like that. There must be some more logical explanation. Hey, why are you so excited? What's the matter? Your face is just as red as a whole bushel of tomatoes. Oh, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Wait till Big John sees this. He'll agree with me. This is the most ridiculous, the most outrageous, the silliest, the craziest, the looniest, the most stupid, half-wit, lame brain Tom Fool son of the century. Where is he? Where's Big John? Wait till I show him this. Calm down, Mayor. Calm down. Here I am. I'm sitting right in front of you. What's the matter with you, anyway? Hey, look at him, Big John. Did you ever see Mayor Plum Plum so excited before in all your life? I'm telling you, fellas, I've got reason to be excited. Why, you'd be excited, too, and you will be after I show you the one of the most ridiculous, the most outrageous, silliest, craziest, looniest, most stupid, half-wit, lame brain Tom Fool stunt of the century. Well, what is that, Mayor? What's what's got you so excited? Well, let us in on it. Give us a clue. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong, he says. Lad, everything's wrong. That's what's wrong, lad. Everything. Well, what's everything? What? What's everything? My goodness, what's everything, he asks. Buster, you better teach this lad how to sort out the ridiculous from the sublime. Well, I'll do that, Mayor, after you teach me to. I'm just as much in the dark as Sparky is. What is it that's got you so excited? This here newspaper's got me so excited. That's what's got me excited. What newspaper's that? This newspaper right here in my hand. Ooh. Oh, my goodness, did I take and leave that there newspaper laying on the soda fountain up to Clyde Pillroller's drugstore? Well, I, I, I don't know, Mayor, but is that the newspaper you're talking about there? Is what the newspaper I'm talking about, lad. Speak up, lad. Is what the newspaper I'm talking about. What is it you're talking about? That one there, the one sticking out of the hip pocket of your pants. Huh? Oh, huh? oh, so it is. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, so it is. Oh, listen, Buster, you too, lad. Where do you see? Where do you see what's on the society page here? Take a look at this. Where did he see what's on the society page here? Take a look at this. <laughs> when do you see this, you'll be excited too. Let's see. We're going to turn to the society page. Here it is. Here. <clears throat> now, take a look at this. What do you see? It's a picture of a lady and her little boy and his nurse. Oh, it's Mrs. Saxful, the lady Yuki uh, rescued from the fire. Let's see. Read what it says. It says, um, this is uh, Abercrombie B. Saxville, her son Eugene, and nurse are shown at Union Terminal as they were about to board their train, which will take them, them to Mrs. Saxville's private summer home at Lost Weguined Island in Lake Michigan for a summer vacation. Well, what's wrong with that? Take a look at Mrs. Abercrombie B. Saxville's son Eugene. See anything odd? Well, he's wearing a big straw hat and a velvet Lord Fauntleroy suit with a big white lace collar. <laughs> Looks a little big for such an outfit. Oh, my. That little boy isn't a little boy. It's That's Yuki. Yuki. It's Yuki, Yuki Butcher. Butcher. Yes, Yuki Butcher. Dressed up like a little six-year-old kid. Did you ever see such a sight in your life? Boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. <laughs> You should see this picture in the newspaper here. You should see Yuki. <laughs> oh, it really is Yuki, too. Oh, he's, he's all dressed up like a sissy about six or seven years old. <laughs> he's got a big straw hat and a brim turned up all around. There's a ribbon. A ribbon goes down the back of the hat. And he's wearing a velvet Lord Fauntleroy suit with 
great big white lace collar. <laughs> well, I guess Yuki didn't get his memory back, and Mrs. Sykesville wants her to think he's a little boy. Her little boy. <laughs> oh. But we can't let her get away with that. We're going to have to rescue Yuki somehow. 